Here's Chief Meteorologist Chris Boone. We're seeing those really hectic storms out towards the east of Texas again in Louisiana and Mississippi and Arkansas seeing those really heavy storms where that little yellow line is. That's outlined where those heavy showers have been and they've been seeing some tornadoes, large hail and large gusts of wind up across the afternoon and those are going to continue into tonight and into tomorrow as well. We're just seeing those really calm skies here in the Concho Valley though as we look into Zoom into the Concho Valley again, seeing those really clear skies, those warmer temperatures that we saw today. And we saw those above average temperatures. That sun really allowed us to warm up as we saw those temperatures that high get into those upper 70s, 79, getting really close to that record of 81, way above that average, average of 65. And those warmer lows last night as well as we saw those lows in those 50s compared to that average of 38. But that's going to change as we go into tomorrow. Again, those warm temperatures that we were kind of inching on for the past couple of days. We were getting those warmer temperatures and we were inching closer and closer to those averages, finally surpassing it yesterday and those average, above average temperatures continuing today though those will change as we go into tonight. We're seeing those cooler temperatures already make their way towards San Angelo as we're already sitting at 54 right now. Those dew points only in those 30s and those winds have really calmed down as we're, we've gone into the nighttime hours again, only at four miles per hour right now out of the north. As we take a look at the Concho Valley as a whole, those temperatures, we're all kind of dropping into those 50s. Some of us dropping into those 40s, 49, El Dorado and Sonora. And some of us hanging on to those 60s, Brady. Coleman is also sitting at 48. You see that cold front really starting to inch its way into the Concho Valley. And as we take a look at that temperature change, we were seeing those really high temperatures for our afternoon as we tacked on a couple of degrees, five to six degrees for those afternoon temperatures. Though as we go into tonight, we'll see that definite drop as we get really cold throughout this afternoon and night. And leading into tomorrow as well, we'll see that very definite drop for those temperatures. And as we look at Texas, again, we see that very definite line where that cold front is making its way towards the south. Again, that nation as a whole. Also, we see those really cool temperatures towards those northern parts of the nation. You can see 12 degrees, a very chilly temperature towards those northern parts of the nation. Again, seeing those really warm temperatures as we're hanging on into the south to some of those 70s, a very broad temperature spectrum, again, between that those, that country. We're going to be seeing those windy conditions that we saw today, and those are going to continue into tonight and tomorrow as well as we continue some of those breezy conditions, those gusty conditions still sticking around as we see those gusts tomorrow. And for our next 12 hours, that's when we're really going to see that cold front make its arrival towards our morning hour when we finally get to those 30s. And for our low, again, 34 as that cold front does arrive. Those pretty clear skies for tonight, though, as we go into tomorrow, we could be increasing that cloud coverage. We'll have a breezy day again tomorrow as we see those chilly temperatures as we only get into those low 50s for those highs and those winds kind of picking up out of the north at 10 to 15 miles per hour and those gusts up to 25 miles per hour. So those breezy conditions really sticking around as we do go about our day tomorrow. And that seven day forecast again starting our seven day forecast with those chilly temperatures that breezy and chilly Wednesday warming up slightly for Thursday and continuing that trend of warming up for Friday back into those 70s though another cold front does come through Saturday. We're going to be seeing those up and down temperatures and even bringing some showers along with it for Saturday and Sunday.